Hey guys, Brian here. Um, hoping to walk you through a little bit of um, kind of like the default interface for all of these reports. Every, everywhere you click, you're going to kind of get the same interface. Um, obviously, everything is time based in analytics, so uh, manipulating this will change the data in this chart. Um, it will also change the data in this table, and that's really the essence of what these reports are. Um, you can manipulate this uh, chart section to really show anything that you want as far as metrics go. Um, of course, if you want to manipulate dimensions, uh, there's a great video I put out, really quick one, with uh, how to basically overlay any segment of people, which means any dimension or behavioral uh, aspect, over this, um, over this data down here. But what I want to do is talk about secondary dimensions a little bit more, uh, because secondary dimensions are really important. Uh, they're really useful. Oftentimes, um, I just work in this acquisition tab, uh, just because I love it so much, as you probably remember from that other video. Um, and it's pretty much because you can make the acquisition tab do anything you want. Um, and, and really where that comes into play is, you know, you see that uh, our, our demo site here has a ton of organic traffic and a ton of YouTube referrals, but that doesn't really give us full context. You know, it's nice to have more and more traffic, especially SEO traffic or especially referral traffic from somewhere where we're posting a lot of content, uh, but it doesn't really tell us what the most uh, popular items are. You know, in many cases, um, companies will have this flagship piece of content that drives, you know, 20% of their, uh, incoming users, and maybe it's just a couple pieces that drive the full 80%, that 80-20 rule. So uh, secondary dimensions, super helpful. We're going to look at Google Organic right off the bat. And of course, you just selected, and you know, if you weren't with me, if I didn't show that right at the beginning, just clicking on the Source Medium tab will reset everything. Click on Google Organic. And then secondary dimension, you'll see that these are essentially all the names that, there's a perfect example. These are kind of the names of the reports right here, you know? So um, underneath behavior, you'll see a lot of things related to pages, uh, and of course, page title, there we go. Second page, previous, next page, time-based, day of the week, all this stuff. Uh, but what we really care about right off the bat is landing page. And make sure you type it out because there are a lot of dimensions that look very similar. So click on landing page. And now we can see the spread of where our traffic's coming from. Um, you know, so something really easy to do if you want to parse this in Excel is you can export CSV. Boom, ready to go. Um, you know, or we can just see right off the bat, like the things that are driving a lot of this traffic. And it looks pretty interesting to me that the spread is largely the homepage. That probably means that we have strong brand. Um, Lots of new traffic coming from organic. Uh, that is cookie-based with Google Analytics, so if people renew their cookie or they use across devices, um, it might not capture that info if they're not signed in everywhere. Um, and also, of course, bounce rate looks okay, uh, except for this page. This page looks terrible. That's interesting. And of course, with the high bounce rate is low time on site, so super interesting stuff here. Um, we can also look at some other things like Browser. So browser doesn't have a lot of impact with SEO, um, except in the fact that people coming from organic Google are likely using Chrome because uh, Firefox has a different browser, that kind of thing. Um, so an interesting breakdown. Uh, you can pretty much use any secondary dimension that you like. Um, you know, time of day might not be interesting, or I'm sorry, time of day of the week because you can see that here. Um, you know, some of these, such as browser, are not the most interesting. Landing page is by far my favorite. Uh, you could also look at exit page. Slash home and slash home. Um, let's see. You could also look at product, couldn't you? Let's take a look at product ID. If we can do, I don't know if they have this set up by default. Interesting, yeah. So all these people coming in and what product category they have. Really interesting stuff. So you can do this on any report. Um, I like to do it on the source media report, but if you go to something like landing pages as a starting point, um, you can select a certain page and then figure out where they came from, which is what we just looked at, except reverse. So people coming to the home page 
largely came from these destinations. You can see clearly that YouTube refers a lot to the home page. So yeah, super interesting stuff with landing page uh, or with secondary dimensions. Um, and it's a great way if you find a favorite report, you can pull in that data either in a custom segment um, to your favorite report or you can use a secondary dimension. And it might help you drill down a little bit uh, and determine, you know, maybe it's cost per click that's driving the most traffic, but where are those people landing? Um, you know, what is their behavior on, on your site? All of those different things. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if it's not, and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.